I'm Genevieve West, an operator at the NSCO. Operators are responsible for setting up beams uh, for experiments, uh, monitoring equipment during experiments, and performing preventative maintenance and repairs during scheduled shutdowns. Behind me you see the K-1200 cyclotron, which is the second most powerful cyclotron of its type in the world. It and the K-500 cyclotron, which is the world's first superconducting cyclotron, make up the CCF at the NSCL. The beam starts at the ion source, goes through the 500, through to 1200, and is sent into a stationary target. Right here is the injection line for the 1200 coming from the 500, and past it you can just see, going the other direction, the extraction line heading toward the A1900. Both cyclotrons work basically the same way. Each one has three uh, copper electrodes and is surrounded by a, a superconducting electromagnet. The beam starts near the center of the cyclotron and spirals outward. Acceleration is provided by the electrodes and the electromagnet keeps the beam to a circular path. Here you see the drive mechanisms for extraction elements. They alter the path of the beam near the outer radius so that it can be extracted from the cyclotron. This is one of two probes installed around the cyclotron. Depending on the probe installed, it can provide either a picture of the beam at any radius or the beam current at any radius. In order to set up beam for an experiment, operators need to know several things about the beam, including beam position, shape, and total current. We have several diagnoses to do that. This has two devices in it. One is a block of copper called a Faraday cup that gives a beam current read. The other is a scintillating viewer plate that gives position and shape. The viewer plate has a phosphor coating that glows when it's hit by the beam. There's a camera mounted on the other side with a mirror that sends a signal to the control room so the operators can see the beam. A typical ion travels approximately three miles through the CCF in less than 100 microseconds. The beam hits the target at approximately half the speed of light.